is up guys welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here my name is Kyle and I do all things motorcycle related so I'll hop right into it so in today's video we're gonna be replacing the console cover on top of the fuel tanks this is gonna work for any street glide or road glide or I guess road king for that matter up until 2021 where they moved the fuel tank fill to the right side of the tank um, even there they have a new variation out that just kind of streamlines the center console um, so as always the links to what I'll be showing you will be down below in the description the product is from Advan Black and what it is is it's gonna be a more low profile sleek color matched fuel uh, tank console cover Real quick, I'll show you kind of the stock setup here right now, and then we'll go take a look at what we got over on the table. All right, so as you guys can see, this is the normal stock uh, console cover that comes on your regular street glide, road glide. This street glide comes with a locking fuel door, so unfortunately, this will not be retained. But a lot of times, people change these to the locking covers because they they've had an issue with the spring and wanting to pop open and not stay latched down so that is worthy to note if you prefer to lock your gas door or fuel cap you're going to have to look for another alternative uh, maybe with a locking fuel cap um, i'm not sure if they make one for this setup that would be something you'd have to look into but nonetheless, this is the stock setup we're working with. So let's go take a look at what we're going to be replacing this with. All right, so right over here, you can see the new kind of mainstream fuel tank console cover that we're going with. Um, it is color matched to the 2011 Street Glide in a Merlot Sun Glow. I'm not, how, not sure how well the lighting's going to pick up the uh, color there. But Advan Black sends you the console cover some rubber grommets that will be installed around the bottom of the console cover obviously the bracket that we're gonna have to install here to mount it onto the bike some little allen screws and an allen bolt which I'm not 100% sure yet if this goes down at the bottom or if it's a black replacement for the top when I know, I'll let you know. And then coming in last, it's going to be a flush mounted fuel cap, which it's going to come in your choice if you want black or chrome. So that's just a real quick overview of what comes with the Advan Black fuel tank console cover. Um, so let's hop back to the bike. I'll show you the steps needed to get the stock cover off. And then uh, we'll come back here and put the grommet on and get the bracket tree all ready to mount and install on our street glide. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna have to do here is remove the seat, which if you still run the stock setup, it's gonna be a Phillips. Um, if not, that's on you. Okay, so with the seat removed, you're gonna be taking out this bolt right down here in the center. That's going to be a 3 8 Okay, with that 3 8 bolt out of the way, I'm gonna be using a 5 32nd T-handle, and there's gonna be a Allen bolt right in the front of the console. So it's going to help if you turn your ignition to the side, that way you can get the T-handle in there. And just be careful when taking out that Allen bolt that you don't drop it. Okay, with both of those screws out, now you're going to have to remove your fuel cap. And once your fuel cap is removed, you should be able to work on taking this off and just kind of wiggle it over the fuel fill cap there. And then you're kind of just see a breather line here. 
just metal clip. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Move the metal clip out of the way. And then you can kind of just wiggle this breather off here. And then just wiggle that breather off. And then you can take this out of the way. And if you're not ready to throw your other console on right away, my recommendation is reinstall your fuel cap for the time being. Because the last thing you want to do is uh, get some kind of foreign object in your fuel tank. So that's my recommendation because I want to try to clean this off a little bit as well. Um, while it's off, might as well do the extra step and try to keep it clean. So with this off, I'm just going to take a couple minutes here, try to clean this up good. Then I'll meet you back over there at the table so we can install that rubber gasket on the bottom of our new console cover as well as prep it for the bracket. So I'm just gonna work on getting this rubber around the edges. It is worth noting that I did let the rubber lay out for a couple days just to kinda get some straightness back into it. And if I was to bet on this project, I would bet that this is probably going to be the most pain in the ass part of the project. Rubber is not the easiest thing to work with if it's not 65, 70 degrees. But I got the rubber all installed on the tank console. Um, of course, up top here, it doesn't go all the way. Um, but neither did the stock one, so I'm not too concerned. So installing this bracket, we're just going to use the two holes that are there. And the two little screws that they provided. Once I got that on, using a three millimeter Allen, I'm gonna tighten those up. You don't wanna to go too tight just because it's plastic. Um, so at this point, we are ready to carry this over and throw it on the bike. All right, so to install this, I got the gas cap back out. I'm just gonna to try to set this down, line it up the best that I can, make sure all the Vent lines and wire harness aren't showing. Um, this kind of needs some forcible uh, contact down here to get this bolt started. And I can see the tops lined up, the fuel fills lined up. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the fuel cap in to help hold the console in place. And then I'm also going to go ahead and since the top is lined up, get that started. I'm just going to go ahead and reuse the stock screw up top because you see the difference there. And if you would take a look at the front of your tank where it threads in, there's only about yay space. So I really don't want to over tighten it and scratch the paint. So sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. I want to tighten that top one all the way until I get the bottom started. Um, another thing is I did have to take this black plastic piece that kind of laid down there. Um, these two notches were kind of getting in the way of the new bracket. So that is worth noting. All right, so this actually took way longer than it should have um, because things just didn't line up right. And the console's still not sitting flush down towards the bottom here. Um, I took it back off to kind of see if I could adjust this bracket at all, which you really couldn't. So overall, everything's put back together. Like I said, I just reused the stock screw for the top of the console cover but overall i don't know if i'm a fan if i would recommend this to you guys as you guys know i'm totally transparent and uh, this is one of those mods that looks really good it's relatively cheap coming in two to three hundred dollars i believe but uh i don't know if it's worth it frankly because 
if you've had your bike for any period of time, you kind of get your wear lines on the fuel tank. And because this is more mainstream, low profile, you can see where it's rubbed. Um, I'm sure if you took your bike to a good detail person, they would be able to fix that. Kind of just know that you're going to see the scars a little bit more than if you get a brand new bike and do it right away. But nonetheless, this is all on. So one other thing is this vent line that we disconnected earlier. Um, there's nowhere to hook this back up on this new console cover, mostly because it's not like the retaining area like before. So this we can just kind of, there's a zip tie down here. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut that zip tie and get this vent tube out of here. All right, so now I got that zip tie replaced down there. Now I can throw the seat on and just kind of wipe everything off and I'll catch back up with you guys. Alrighty guys, so I just got done wiping this all off. So to be able to kind of get a good look at it there. Like I was saying earlier, it's a lot more low profile, mainstream. Um, when I did put the seat back on, it did kind of bring that down flush. As you can see there, looks pretty good. And around this side looks pretty good. But like I was saying earlier, you could see where the old tank console kind of came down on both sides there. So that's unfortunate. Um, that is above my realm. I am not a professional detailer by any means. So we'll have to try to contact somebody and see if they can work with that. But nonetheless, looks pretty good. Alrighty guys, so if you guys purchased or are looking to purchase an Advan Black fuel tank console, um, paint matched, that is kind of what it looks like and that is the process to install it. Like I said, overall, I think it does look fairly good. The paint quality is pretty good on it, but like I said, it is more narrow than the stock console. So like I showed you in the video a couple seconds ago, you can kind of see where the old one rubbed the finish on a tank. So just be aware of that before you go spend two to three hundred dollars for this tank console. Just so you guys know, make sure that's a purchase you still want to make. If you guys made it this far in the video, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you guys have a tank console from Advan Black and let me know your thoughts on it or just let me know what you guys think of this one. I'd appreciate it. And I like to conversate with you guys down in the comments, but nonetheless, make sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. So that way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this one and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.